Hello everyone. In today's lecture, I will show you how to assign peer label for wall segments. However, before doing this, I have noticed that we forget to assign support for some of the walls. There is, I mean, a missing support. This is because we have replicated these walls without selecting the joints at the base. Actually, this is so easy to just fix this by going to the plan view at the base. Just select all the supports or all the joints. I will put the 3D view. And from assign, joints, restraints. And I will assume that the supports is a fixed support. I will use a fixed support, which is restrained in all direction. It's not allowed to, uh, to move in the X, Y, or Z direction. And it's not allowed to rotate about X, Y, or Z direction. The second option here, it is a pin support. The third one, it's a roller. And the last one, it's a hinge. Hence, I will use the first one, fix support, and apply. OK, now we need to view the walls. I will go to object type. I will select the walls and right click on the screen and show selected objects only. In order to assign peer label, we, should, we just first need to define them by from define peer labels. By default, there is just one peer label here. We should add the others. But sorry, let me put the plan view before going there. As shown here in this layout, we have here eight walls and we have at the middle four walls. Then we have totally 12 walls. I will add up to, four, uh, to 12. Okay, here now I will select the all stories option and I will go to assign, shell, and peer label. The second one, As shown here, because we select the all story option, five shells are selected. We can check it while, while we are selecting the walls just to make sure that we are not missing any wall segment. Okay, for this one, I will select all wall segments now because as I mentioned before, they are working together. They are just one body. We cannot assign, of course we can, sorry. We can assign, for example, peer label for this one Peer, another peer label for the other segment however in this way this mean if you assign different peer label for different wall segments this mean they are independent of each other and they are not working together as a one body and this is of course wrong because in the real life this core wall will be casted in place at the same time then we should assign a one peer label for all these wall segments okay p9 and this is actually the reason why we need peer label. And the second one, if we didn't assign peer label, we cannot obtain the design information at the end of this study or when we run the model. We cannot obtain any design results for walls, of course. And lastly, this one. And OK. I will put this one to one story. I will click on the form shape put 3d view of course if you want let before before ending this video I will show you one more thing let me put the plan view if you want to check what peer label you provide for each wall segment you can go to here from set play option 
other assignments and here pre assignment check this one and click apply and in this way you can view it again okay i will and that's all for this video let's continue in the next one